Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at uh, how I render my videos uh, for YouTube. So a lot of my videos on YouTube are just, you know, screencasts. I don't really do much editing them. I throw a little intro at the beginning and an outro at the end, but I don't even want to go into an editor to do that. So how do I do that? Well, a long time ago I wrote a script and I'm going to show you that script right now and show you how it works. So real quick, if I was to vim uh, user local bin uh, and it's called tutorials render, uh, this is the script right here. What it does is a bash script and in, I go into a directory where I have my videos recorded and I run this command and it creates an output directory. This is a very sloppy script. It doesn't even check if that directory ex exists. It just cr tries to create it. And then we have the ending URL and the intro URL. Uh, and then this is where they're going to save to. So then it uses YouTube DL dash C meaning continue. So it tries to download these files and if they already exist, it's just going to check and continue. Uh, but what it's going to do is this allows me to, if I went to a new system that I don't have my intro and outro installed on, it's going to try to download them from YouTube and put them in these directories. Or if I restart my computer, they won't be there. So that allows me to not have to worry about those intros and outros being on the system where I go. Wherever I go, I can run this script and it will work. Fingers crossed. Uh, so anyway, it downloads the intro and the outro to my temp directory. So that's what all this does, uh, this whole top half here. Uh, now, uh, again, very sloppily, it just looks at all these different video formats uh, and tries to find those files and puts them through a loop. I'll get some error output saying some of the files don't exist because it depends on what files exist. Most of my videos are recorded as MKVs, but if I record something from my phone uh, or from my camera, it might be an MP4 or an MOV. Anyway, it looks at these different file formats here, lists through them, and then while it reads them, it echoes out the name of the file so I know where we're at, and then it uses Melt. Melt is an application that uses MLT, uh, which basically, if you've ever used Caden Live or a lot of these uh, graphical editor uh, video editors, Melt is what they use in the background. And all it's doing is Melt is saying, okay, take the intro video, which hopefully exists, if not downloaded, and it's going to mix at 30 frames using this type of mix. So basically all this is saying is take the intro and do a 30 frame, so a one second fade to the video we just found does that for that entire video and then at the end of that it takes that video and it does a 30 second fade to the outro and it puts the output into um, the output directory that we created so this is the the output video and the audio codec is an mp2 uh, so I didn't you know this is a, it, if I was to do this in Caden Live, it definitely renders a little bit faster, so I could tweak my codec settings, my output settings, but it doesn't matter because it's a it's a something I run and then walk away. So that's the entire script. Uh, very simple, very basic. It loops through each video. This is just down here. Uh, I have commented out a line, basically the same thing, but it was a hard linked to where I have videos saved. So anyway, I can quit out of that, uh, and then I can. Um, I can just type in tutorials here, and it brings me to my tutorial directory for my current year, and then I'll go to this month, and I'm, I just recorded these uh, CSV JSON file uh, videos. So I can go into that directory, and you can see I have, uh, oh, I just realized that the video I am currently recording is going into that directory. So uh, just so I don't, it doesn't try to render out that video while I'm recording it, let me go ahead and make a new directory. I'll just call it vids. I'll move into vids and I'll say move all from the upper directory Linux into this directory. Okay, so normally I don't have to do that little part. That's just to avoid any errors from the video I'm currently recording. Uh, but I have five videos here. So I, once I've recorded them, and these are just the screencasts without the intro and outro, I just do uh, tutorials underscore render. I hit enter and I walk away. When I come back, I'll still have the original files, but there'll be an output folder uh, that has uh, the intro and outro on each video. So that's how I render my videos, uh, super quick. Once I record them, I mean, unless there's some editing to be done, which normally there isn't, I just run that. And again, uh, each of these videos is about six, seven minutes long. You can see it's at 4%. Uh, I could, again, tweak my codec settings and probably get just as good quality and render it out faster, but it doesn't matter. Because now I just I go on my day, I come back, I have the file, I just drag and drop them and schedule them to be posted on YouTube. Anyway, I do thank you for watching, and as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. As soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to go into the directory, run the same command, and it will do the same thing for this video. And here is that little sun outro that I created in Blender many years ago. Have a great day.